this is my introduction. This is Ultimate Word Finds. Um, it doesn't matter what type of word find book you buy. They've got like um, Disney ones at the dollar store. I usually buy mine at the dollar store so I could buy like 30 of them for my class. And then um, each kid gets their own book. They get to keep it at the end of the year. It's a consumable. Um, but I find that dollar goes a long way to developing various uh, important aspects of a child's cognitive uh, ability or their ability to think and, and put together ideas or string together thoughts. So. Um, this one was kind of appropriate. It says computer and internet terms. What I was thinking, okay, um, how do how does a word find benefit a child? Uh, well, I wrote this plan up here, and I'm going to follow this plan on the side here while I'm uh, while I'm uh, discussing this concept. Um, first of all, uh, they're inexpensive, so it's easy to get them, but they're very important. It's very important for kids to interact with new vocabulary especially on a fifth grade level. They're just starting to really understand how important vocabulary is. And a broad vocabulary, I, I like to call it PK or prior knowledge. Um, the more words you know, the better you can write. The easier it'll be to write. So I give them a, uh, this book, and there's 100 puzzles in it. And I say, well, by the end of the year, I want you to do 64. But I keep track of how much they're doing along the, the way. Um, some kids have are, in the first two or three weeks will have completed all 100 puzzles. Well, of course, that would be a very advanced uh, group of kids. So maybe three of them can do that. But the rest of them, they're kind of like, oh, we'll take our time and we'll kind of go slow on it and whatever. That's fine. Because it, the world is full of a very varied people with different motivational, um, uh, motivational spirits when it comes to certain types of things like, like um, language. So anyways, we've got our computer internet terms in. Um, this is... Uh, the other reason why we like to do it besides um, uh, just simple, pure vocabulary is because you know, the vocabulary is topical, and that's important because you can oftentimes synonyms, like everything on this page is about computer or internet terms. The next page, you got Herb Albert. And I remember my dad had these albums called Herb, Al Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Well, they've got things about famous people, and that's important to know these famous people because they existed, you know and uh, how to assemble a bike and all the things that are associated with bikes. So it's very nice to get like a, a big list of words that are topically appropriate. Um, oftentimes you can find synonyms and antonyms within those kind of things. So the next thing is problem solving. When you're actually doing the puzzle, you actually have to think of many different tactics and strategies to accomplish this. This is not easy for some people. Uh, if you don't do a lot of puzzles, you're not going to understand things, um, understand those kind of uh, strategies easily. But it's, it's stuff that you'll self-generate. You know, you'll self-generate the ideas of, oh, well, if I find a word that has a double letter here, a like double vowel or a double consonant, it becomes very easy to find. Like right here, it says boot. Okay. And then so you're kind of wondering, what does a boot have to do with a computer? One thing I like to do is use um, highlighters. So, you know, I'll discuss the tactics later on. But it's very important to learn those tactics, and that's part of problem solving. And wh I'll tell you why I use a highlighter versus a pencil or a pen or circling. Okay, um, another thing is that it's very good at uh, giving children an opportunity to, to become competitive. What I like to do oftentimes is buy two of the same exact book, or if I buy it for a whole class, I try to find 30 of the same. But if I can't, it's okay to mix and match. Um, but the competitive aspect is what really what takes children to the next level because they become highly motivated when you, when you give them a competitive uh, platform to work from. So. Um, I'll explain more and I'll show you how I do it, how I make it competitive in a different video or another video.